SAP, we're having great fun here, I have to tell you, showcasing what the SABC does best, and that, of course, is these, the technology that's in place in order to bring broadcasts to viewers wherever you are around the country. And we're talking radio, we're talking television, we're talking online content, whatever it is, we are just showcasing what it is the SABC can do. But as you walk into the conference, this is what you are met with. So first you see this gorgeous motorbike, which I unfortunately cannot get onto and ride away on, as I don't know how to do ride a motorbike, but nonetheless, this is one of the the amazing tools that the SABC has in order particularly and you do see a lot of these when it comes to the coverage of funerals at uh, at the SABC which certainly are you know your state funerals and all of those things and this is where you'll see that the cameraman or anyone will sit on and make sure that they follow the vehicles and it's quite amazing I mean all of the other technical requirements whether it be your cameras your drones uh, all of the live aspects of it I mean it, it, it is all here it is all on display and it's absolutely incredible. Um, here's your television cameras. I mean, I'm busy directing a Jimmy Jib, by the way. I'm speaking on that big camera that gets that overview of the whole studio, and you get this massive in-depth um, uh, pers uh, perspective of, of what's going on. It's amazing. So, And these uh, camera operators that can do these Jimmy Jibs are so well trained. It's unbelievable. But, but this is it. You know, this is kind of what the SABC is showcasing. And this sales conference falls under our man Reggie Ngomalo, who is the GE of sales at the SABC. How is it going so far? I mean, yesterday was amazing. I can say that. I was here. I saw it. But last night and the turnout for today, how are we looking? No, well, I'm suffering this morning. Um, <laughs> that's how great last night was in the day. Um, so, so yesterday we were able to show, obviously, showcase our technology, showcase uh, our offering from a radio perspective. And today we'll be unpacking uh, the TV uh, offering as well today. So it's really been exciting. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And I mean, besides what we're seeing here, there is also the section uh, inside the bigger room where you get to see the full OB vans and all of those technical things that you don't necessarily have anything to do with because your side is is the sales side. And that's, that's a, it's a huge responsibility because, you know, SABC, in order to stay in business, needs to make money. Yeah, you know, Leanne, that's so true. And the secret here is to make sure that you understand the customer's problem. Then you look inside and see what sort of goodies can you offer them to solve their problem. Yeah. Um, so you look at the technology, you look at the uh, genres and the properties, various properties that uh, are on our platforms, and then you create a solution that solves their problem. Most of the problems involve uh, obviously reaching particular audiences. They, you know, if you're a retailer, you want to make sure that you maximize your reach and also maximize your uh, frequency. And, and that's essentially what uh, this is all about. How can we find that uh, happy medium between our technology innovation uh, as well as a customer problem so we could solve it? Amazing. Yeah. Uh, um, and just finally, the kind, of, the kind of guests that you've got here, who are we looking at? Who, who are in attendance? Yeah, you, you, you've got uh, heavy hitters. Um, you've got the MTNs here, you've got the Vodacoms, you've got the government clients, uh, you have agencies as well as our partners. So in, we've covered the entire ecosystem, uh, media ecosystem, to make sure that uh, the value chain is covered. So. Uh, so that we could actually have meaningful conversations on the opportunities, the challenges, uh, and, and obviously the solutions. Fantastic. All experts in all industries, great, to have, uh, great to have you this morning, even though the head might be feeling a bit fragile. But that's what, <laughs> that's what conferences do as well. Is, is you do have a bit of fun in the background. Thank I'm going to move over a little bit here, and uh, I'm actually so happy that um, our... Um, Big Boss has arrived here at the SABC Marketing Conference, a big day, of course, for him, because I think this is where you're going to be speaking. Um, my daughter is with us here, uh, my daughter uh, Ngake, and it is so good to have you. Thanks so much for, for making it a bit earlier to chat to us here on the program. Good morning, Leon. Yeah. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I mean, when you look around here and you see sort of something like this, it is very important that the SABC holds these conferences, keeps the ship afloat. It is important. Talk to us about the importance of something like it's, this. It's quite key for us because we've brought today uh, for the next two days um, over 100 clients. Uh, these are our partners and they're really responsible for over 95 percent of our total revenue. And the idea they, here is to reconnect with them. We would want to obviously reposition ourselves as the multi-platform content provider, but also showcase some of the innovation we have in our various uh, businesses, radio, television, technology. And, and at the heart of this uh, is to align, share plans, also showcase some of our strategies so that we can be able to maximize uh, revenue generation 
for the SABC. So this is quite key for us. And obviously, from a marketing point of view, we believe in investing behind our brands. But that's not enough if you don't interface with the various clients that we'll be meeting today. Yeah. So it's quite key for the financial sustainability of the SABC. Indeed, and that's what I was saying. I mean, that this, this is what keeps you in business. And mm. but, the, but the reality is, is that obviously, and I, I cannot ignore the issues that are facing the SABC as well. A hard day held at Scopa yesterday for, for you in particular. Mm. Talk to me what happened. What happened yesterday? The, the, I would not want to delve into the details of that meeting. I think for us as the executive team, uh, you know that we do not have a board. It does affect, you know, the business continuity, the implementation of some of the operational plans that we have, particularly those that are geared towards revenue generation. That's number one. What we are focusing on as the executive management team at Exco is to ensure that we run the business as best as we can. The only bottleneck is that all of the business plans in line with our delegation of authority framework, they cannot go beyond. So we would have to wait for the board to approve those, but also for us to implement. So it does affect business continuity in that sense. It certainly does. But I mean, what do you believe is behind the president delaying the announcement of the board. I mean, I know that this is six months we've been operating without a board. Well, that would be way beyond uh, my ambit. And our focus is to ensure that despite all of these constraints, we run the organization as efficiently as we can as the executive team. Yeah. I mean, quite, quite scathing things were said at Scopa yesterday. I mean, one of them just talking about the fact that we, I mean, I know Humpty Dumpty was quoted as well. And the reality is, is that it is very, very difficult um, to, to, to continue operating under these circumstances where you cannot implement some of the plans that are in place. And also when it comes to the finances, Scope is saying that, you know, a lot of these problems are not financial problems that need to be bailed mm. out. These are management problems. I think for us, you would recall when we started this journey, we inherited an organization that was systematically collapsed. We've worked very closely as the management team with every single SABC employee to rebuild uh, this organization. The first part we did was to stabilize it, which I think we've done extremely well. The second phase of that turnaround has been business transformation, where we've introduced different models. We've introduced a new structure, a new target operating model. And the next phase that we now need to move into is profitability. I've said this to you previously, Lian. It is not an overday or an overnight thing to turn around an organization more so a one that was hollowed out like the SABC. And I'm very proud of what the management team and every single SABC employee has done over the past five years to turn around this ship. Yeah, well look, it, it, it certainly is a massive ship and a very important ship to South Africans who, who need the SABC for many, many reasons. I mean, this mm. is sometimes the only source of information that people have. This is their news source. This mm. is their entertainment source. So to see the SABC fail is a very, very hard and bitter pill to swallow and you don't mm. want to see that happening. However, there are still the issues that, I mean, there's court cases pending against, against the SABC. Again, civil society organizations are, are, are saying what is happening in your position in particular mm. is illegal, you acting as the board. Talk to me about that and perhaps give us clarity on this issue of you being the mm. everything at the moment. Maybe let me start with the first part. Remember, we have a public mandate that is constitutional where we need to inform and educate South Africans. And we do this quite well. Uh, you may not know this, but on average a year, we spend close to a billion rand towards the unfunded public mandate. And really the focus there is to make sure that South Africans are informed, educated and entertained. Then the second point, I, I don't know where this is that uh, I'm not uh, the SABC board. The SABC board uh, is clearly regulated in line with the Broadcasting Act. So I am not, I am the chief executive officer. And in terms of the PFMA, I'm the accounting officer, not the accounting authority. So, so where is this all coming from? Because it, it, the rumors are out there. That's what people are saying. The communication minister is almost saying that that's the, that's the case. So it, it is emanating from somewhere. There was a letter that was sent uh, designating me as the accounting authority. Unfortunately, there was a paragraph there that would have been very limiting. 
and that's the paragraph we've been engaging on. So I can inform you and the public that I'm not the accounting authority nor the board of the SABC. So pending legal action, what happens to that? I would not know because that is not uh, an issue that is uh, towards the SABC and I'm sure various uh, levels of government will be able to deal with that. Yeah. I, I mean, questions I'm asking you, and I think these are questions that are important because a lot of, of, of citizens and South Africans are watching this. And one of the greatest fears is political interference and huge delay tactics. There's elections coming up next year and people are looking into this and saying, well, this is just one card that government are playing in order to delay and these are the things that we have to speak to. So do, 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 do you believe that this is a political interference? This is a, at the highest possible level, and I'm talking from a presidential point of view. Look, I've, I've worked in this organization for uh, four years and seven months. And uh, in all of those years, we have ensured, because I work with a very ethical, competent management team, uh, we have not had any issues where people want to interfere with how we're doing things. The group executive for news is, is a very solid, uh, competent executive, and uh, he has never informed me of any instances of political interference. So I can categorically say we've not had any issues of political interference, and I would not want to get into the realm of speculation because we only deal with what we have. And what I do know is that there's not been any political interference, at least not during my reign. We'll leave it there for now, but we thank you for talking to us. Thank you for being here. Thank I hope you. that it's a good one because in and amongst all the chaos, a TV channel, a radio station, an online platform needs to run. And this is the business that floats it. So it's a, it's a very important conference that's, that's taking place today. So enjoy it. Enjoy thank everyone you. that's here. Thank Thanks so much. much for talking to us. This is thank the um, SABC CEO, Madoda Ngakwe, talking to us about a range of issues, but the importance of hosting this. Also, what happened at Scopa yesterday and, of course, some um, impending court accusations and, uh, and, and uh, uh, things that may land up in the court where it comes to SABC still not having a board in place and how that affects the business plan going forward. We've got to take a break, but uh, I know Simpiwe will be with you after this as well as SK, who has uh, got a broadcast for us as well. So stay with Morning Live until nine o'clock.